All right, so we will be multiplying matrices here. Um, this is a much more difficult uh, process, and almost always I'm going to tell you, use your calculator to do it. Um, but I do need to show you the process for something in 8.4 where you actually are going to have to multiply by hand. Okay, and so typically if we were at school um, and we had lots more time, I we would first teach you how to do all of these things that we're about to do by hand. And then we'd show you how to do them on the calculator and you'd hate me because I just made you do a bunch of work by hand when you didn't need to. We're just going to skip that because we're just doing a quick overview to show you what matrices are and what they can do and why they're so awesome. And for my seniors, the real reason we wanted to get this in is for you guys because if you take a college algebra class, uh, they will probably put matrices in there. And so we just want to give you some like, oh yeah, I've seen that before. So you feel a little bit more comfortable with it. Okay, and so I have to teach you how to do this one by hand because in a topic in 8.4, you have to multiply by hand. So that's all the only reason I'm actually teaching you how to do this one by hand. But in order to multiply, okay, there's one key thing. You have to have the columns of the first one equal the row of the second one. It seems super weird. Okay, so we're going to have an R1 via C1. So this is my first matrix, and I'm going to multiply it by a row 2 times a C2. And I hopefully you're starting to see, oh, yeah, okay, rows are first, columns are second. It's really important. And so what we just said, or what I just said, is the columns of the first one has to equal the rows of the second one. So what I always do is I make this box in here, okay, and I double check that those are equal. And if those are equal, then my answer is what is left over. It's a row one by a C2, okay? So as long as these two, they have to must be equal, okay? Um, your then answer matrix, the answer you will get, will have the number of rows the first one has and the number of columns the second one has. All right, hopefully that's making sense. Um, the key thing now, which is really weird to us, is everything so far, multiplication, the order doesn't matter. Four times six is the same as six times four. That is not true with the matrices. Order matters. It's super important, okay? And it's because of this right here because they must be equal. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this first one where we teach you how to do it by hand, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it on a calculator with the second one, okay? So the first problem we have is we have C equals three, negative three, zero, negative one, and I have matrix D is equal to negative one, one, two, and three. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and first do rows and columns. So this one's really easy. Okay, it's two rows by two columns. And this one again is two rows by two columns. So they're both two by twos, which makes life really, really easy. So the first thing we want to do is we want to multiply C by D. Okay, so I want to find what matrix C times matrix D is. So I need to double check, okay? So I have a two by two times a two by two. So these guys in the middle have to be equal, so check. And so my answer would be a two by two, okay? Which that seems pretty obvious, um, but I just wanna make sure we're getting through that because there'll be times when it's not, okay? So we're gonna get out a two by two. And so how this works is I'm gonna just rewrite this, yeah. So I got three, negative three, zero, negative one times negative one, one, two, three, and it equals a two by two. Okay, so what you're gonna do is remember, it's the row of the first one, the column of the second one is your answer, okay? And so right here, I'm in row one, column one, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply row one, oh sorry, yeah, row one by column one. So the row of the first one, the column of the second one, okay? And so what is going to happen is you're going to have three times a negative one, okay? Plus zero times one, okay? So row one by column one. That is how I get this answer right here. I multiply row one by column one. So three times negative one is negative three plus zero. So this spot right here is negative three, okay? So this one right here is row one, column 
two. So I'm gonna multiply row one by column two. So I'm gonna get three times two, okay, plus zero times three. So that's gonna be six plus zero, so this is gonna be a six. All right, so rows of the first one, columns of the second one, that is your answer, because remember this is R1, C2. Okay, so let's do this next one. So this spot right here is now row two, column one. So I'm gonna get negative three times negative one plus negative one times one. So we did row one, column one. Or sorry, row two, column one. All right, and so I get three, uh, minus one, so this answer right there will be two. Okay, and then our very, very last spot, which is this guy right here, so that is row two, column two. So I'm gonna do negative three times two uh, plus negative one times three. So row two, column two, so I get negative six minus three, so that's a negative nine. So go ahead and that is our answer. All right, okay, so I hope that makes sense. We're gonna actually do DC now. That's gonna be our next problem, okay? And I want you to go ahead and answer in uh, Edpuzzle. Do you think DC is going to equal CD? Do you think we're gonna get the same answer? All right, so we're gonna multiply D by C, okay? And so this will be negative one, one, two, three times a three, negative three, zero, negative one. Okay, and so just check, I mean this one's obvious, two by two times a two by two. Okay, they're still equal and I'm still gonna get out a two by two, right? All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and take spot by spot. Okay, so this spot right here is row one, column one. So I have negative one times three plus two times a negative three. And so negative one times three is going to be negative three minus six. And boom, right there, you get your answer. Are these going to be the same matrix? No, no, they are not. Okay, and so that's what I'm saying is order really, really matters. All right, it's really important. Okay, and so let's do this next one. So it's still row one, but column two. So negative one times zero plus two times negative one. So zero minus two. So I get a negative two there. Okay, and then this spot right here, that is uh, row two, column one. So one times three plus three times a negative three. So three minus nine, so negative six. And the very last spot right here. Okay, so row two, column two. So one times zero plus three times a negative one. So zero minus three. So I get a negative three. Now some of you are going, but we got the same numbers. Yes, we did get the same numbers, but their elements are different, right? They're in a different order. Some turned out negative versus these are positive. There is a pattern with that, but there's no point to memorize it, so don't, don't try to, okay? Um, so this is how multiplication works, all right? Uh, the next one is like a squared one. Uh, we're gonna actually do that with the calculator version. So hopefully you're feeling good with this. This is how you do multiplication by hand. All right, but let's go and make life significantly easier. And let's do the calculator. All right, so problem number two is gonna be C is equal to negative seven, two, four. Okay, and we have D is equal to negative one, negative four, zero. Okay, and so we're gonna do three problems here. We're gonna do D, C. We're going to do C, D and we're gonna do C squared. All right, and we're gonna do all these in the calculator. All right, so let's just double check that these actually will work. Okay, so D has three rows and it has one column and we're gonna multiply it by C, which has one row and three columns. Okay, so let's check and see what we get. And our one by one, so we're good to go, right? And our answer will be a three by three, which seems really weird, right? Cause you're like, but I only have one and now I'm getting a massive one, right? It seems weird, I know. But that is what our answer will come out, come out by three by three. Okay, so let's look at here. We said C has one row, but three columns. And we're gonna multiply it by D, which has three rows by 
one column. All right, and so this is going to work, right? Because that works, and this time we're gonna get out a one by one, which is actually just a single number, okay? Now C squared is gonna be a little bit different, okay? Because this has uh, one row by three columns times one row by three columns. So if you're looking right now, those do not match, it does not work. So this is actually gonna come out as what we're gonna say is undefined. We do not have an answer for that one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do all this on a calculator. So get your graphing calculator out. Alrighty, here we go. So um, in this big mess here, hopefully you can see down this left side, see x to the negative one, there's this matrix thing right there in blue. So hit second matrix. And this is our matrices. Most of you probably will have absolutely nothing in here and that's totally okay. So you will use the name column when you wanna work with that matrix. The math column, we're gonna to come to this in our next example, has all different kinds of things we'd wanna do with a matrix, okay? And then the edit column is how we edit it, okay? So we have matrix C and D. So I'm gonna go down to matrix C, okay? And we said it had one row by three columns, okay? And I'm just hitting enter as I'm doing that. So one by three, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and type in negative seven, enter, two, enter, four, enter. Okay, so I just edited that column. Now, the weird thing with this is you always have to hit second quit to get out of this. So we're gonna hit second quit, and that's second mode, so second mode, okay, to get out of it. And then we're gonna go back in, so second, and then the x to the negative one, which is the matrix, go over to edit, go down to D, okay? And what we said D was it had three columns, so three, enter, one column, sorry, three rows, one column, okay? And now it has these numbers this way, so enter negative one, enter, negative four, enter, zero, enter. And so we just plugged everything in, okay? And we're gonna hit second, quit again, okay? And so let's go ahead and do each of these matrix, uh, these multiplications. So I want matrix D times matrix C. So I'm gonna go second matrix. I'm gonna scroll down to D. Names is when I want to actually use it. So we're gonna do enter at D, then hit times, then hit second matrix, and go to C, enter. So this is what you got, you got D times C, hit enter, and there's your answer. And guess what, it is a three by three like we predicted. And so you would just type into the calculator, or type into Alex, 7, 28, 0, negative 2, negative 8, 0, negative 4, negative 16, 0. And you're done. That's it. See, calculator's way fun, right? Okay, so now instead we want to do the other order. So we're going to go second matrix, go to C, hit enter, time, second matrix, D, enter, and it gives you your answer, negative one, and that makes sense because we wanted a one by one. And we're good to go. And now I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like when it's undefined, okay? So I'll second matrix, I'll go to C, and I'm gonna hit the squared button. So I just said C squared. I'll hit enter, and I'll say invalid dim means dimensions, okay? And so how we're classifying this, these are the dimensions, okay? And so when you get that, you write undefined. So when you get this invalid dim, that means you have uh, undefined dimensions, okay? All right, that is how you multiply matrices by hand and on the calculator.